Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... The Greatest Woman Spoken Word by the channel Talk Islam. Yes, go and subscribe if you guys like this video. It's very important. Support the channels that you love. This was a suggestion from Openic. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, guys. Love your vids. Can you react to both of these videos? Um, you suggested two videos. Five minutes and five minutes. Or no, just one. No, it's only one per thing. Kind of been getting... Uh, Getting behind that's, because everyone's doing that lately. It's been kind of a big deal, and that's well, cool. Well, it's yeah. Um, we've been having a lot of people suggest double videos or triple videos, or um, it's supposed to be ten minutes under, and people throw down for like twenty minute. Well, not throw down for the full twenty minute video or thirty minute videos, but we just we gotta keep we gotta be kind of strict with it because we're. We're not really having any life the way that things have been going. We haven't been able to do, like, anything. We've just been um, doing this. And so um, we have to be as strict as we can about it right now because it just keeps, you know, as the months go on, we're getting more and more, and we just can't we can't handle doing more than what yeah. we And we don't have. want to up the price again because it's already super high, you yeah. know, at 20. So it's so like... We don't want to have to raise it up no. to any more than 20. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's why it's the one video per whatnot, and you know usually we're pretty good too if it's like, like a minute over, or yeah, something, something like that. But um, a lot of people are suggesting longer videos then, and by the time it takes to email them, refund the money, and everything, it's like I should have just done the damn video because it was the same amount of time. Well, you know? people either do like double or triple videos, otherwise they'll do like um, double the length, and it's just like it's getting hard. Mm -hmm. So we do have that rule in place for a very good reason. Um, and let's go ahead and get to this video before that you guys can also help support the channel like I said before Click the link down below in the description if you guys throw it down through Streamlabs We're gonna let you pick one of the next videos we react to just keep it under 10 minutes include the video link title and your email And that's per video and let's get to this video if I can Get it up There we go Didn't we watch one of his before? No, something must be wrong. I think so. Almost every single song has sex as its basis. True that. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless, when a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is, and when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them. To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive. It's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic. And you can call me unrealistic, but just listen to the statistics. Seven in ten men view porn while over 75 million are addicted. 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making one in four searches sexually related that's crazy it's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views it's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of facebook likes Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like see we are so obsessed with our outside we have slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life. I mean, it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem. Looking at these magazines, thinking they have to look like what they see. Please, you are worth much more than a 2D image on a screen. You are a living, breathing human being. If only you knew what you really mean. Just look into your history books and begin to read. Of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve, and you will surely see with certainty, females like Fatima Al Fihri, who opened the first ever university, Rufaid Al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery, and Haisha bint Abi Bakr, the greatest female scholar in eternity. It's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies. Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual. You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth. You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth. Like Mary, the mother of Jesus. 
chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers. A woman who stood strong even when she was abused, falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do so it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her. For she knew that God was Al razzaq and her ultimate provider and she had a trust in him alone. Just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this, a woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death, for she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. Next up Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the Prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, Fatima, the master of all women in paradise. A woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra, the splendid one with the most generous of hearts. A woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast. She would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl. And such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world and it had nothing to do with how they looked but for who they truly were. So ignore the standard of success defined by society when God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color or your race. For God does not look at your bodies nor does he look at your face, rather he looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are when you could be like the greatest of all women in the eyes of Allah. Damn. The greatest woman. That was really good. That was. That was a really uh, touching video and it's true. I mean, with all like the, well, especially with social media today, it's worse than ever because young kids are even um, introduced to social media where they instantly feel like they have to start looking better and whatnot and i get it i mean i see people like dudes that look ripped i'm like god i wish i could hit up the gym more and stuff and look like that you I've know been and like it's like since i was little too yeah and it's it's not a good way to look because you're never happy with yourself then and that's not something that's okay you want to be happy in life through all means you know and you just kind of got to let that stuff go we're way too um aesthetically driven in today's society where everybody wants to like look better than somebody else or up there or whatnot and kind of ruins things too you know mm -hmm. um anyway guys go and subscribe to the channel that is talk islam if you like that video it was a very good video and we will catch you in the next one peace Bye.